back to my channel. My name is Brianna. Welcome to Breland's Book Singer is back as well. Happy New Year. It has been a bit since I've posted a video. It was just kind of crazy with family in town and I was working so much because of the holidays because I work retail. So I was very busy. Today is going to be a little bit of a weird video just because there's going to be several things involved in it. Singer whipping around is going to be one of them. The first thing I would like to point out is that I did get a new bookshelf. Um, that's sitting on top. It's just another one of those cube things. It's just sitting on top of my other cube things. And it has all my TBR books in it. I don't know how well you can see it right now. Whatever. It's there. And so all my TBR books are in there. And then all of my... These ones haven't changed. They're all still just down here. And then behind me is my Cassandra Clare books. I put them here along with the globe. And something else goes here, but you'll see it in a minute. And then I also put my copy of You Are Special by Max Licato here. If you don't know that story, it's adorable. Fun fact. Um, next order of business type thing. Um, I'm going to really quickly show you guys my books that I got for Christmas. Um, three of these. Yeah, three of them my parents got for me. Uh, my dad found them, I'm pretty sure, because my mom didn't have time to shop, that's for sure. Uh, and then the other ones, I got a Barnes & Noble gift card, and I used part of it with that. The rest I used my money with. Singer, please stop licking my foot. So just really quickly, the books that I got for Christmas, my parents got me the Six of Crows duology. They got both of them. Why are they? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Singer. I'm so sorry. So I'm really excited to read this duology. I've heard amazing things about it. They're gorgeous. I think more books should have black edging because it's just amazing. It's fabulous. Just look. Look! 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 Okay, she's like, I don't care that much! The next book that my parents got for me, I was so excited when I saw this in my Christmas, like, bag. My family doesn't really wrap all our gifts, we just get giant gift bags and put them all in. Like, family, we're just like, okay, this one's for this person, and you just put stuff in. But... <laughs> I could cry of happiness. I literally, I opened it, I picked it up. And I just sat there, staring off into nothing, holding it. And then I spent, like, I already read, like, the first act stuff. I still have to read the second act stuff. It's so cool. If you don't know what this is, it's the full libretto of Hamilton, the show that everyone's heard of. Um, it's the full libretto, but it also has photos, like, Yas Lynn Slay. And it's got notes and an introduction and interviews and tweets and just all sorts of stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous pictures of the cast and just, yes, queen, queen. Um, I've also been listening to the Hamilton mixtape. Well, a little bit of Ham Hamilton obsessed. If <laughs> Who isn't? That's not like a weird thing to say. I'm also obsessed with a lot of other shows, which most people are just like into Hamilton. I think I had something else to say about that, but now I don't. Yes, I do. Lin Manuel Miranda, further proof that he is just a genius. He helped with the lyrics on the new Moana movie. My my mom, my sister, and I saw it along with. We also saw Fantastic Beasts sing and Why Him, and they were all so good, and I loved them all. And the music in Moana was just so so good. And Lin and the other writers did such a good job. And there's one song where Lin is singing, and you can hear he has a very distinct voice, so you can hear when he's singing. And I started freaking out to my mom, and I was like, "That's Lin! That's Lin!" And then there's another. There, I think it's I don't know if it's the same song or a different song, but Chris Jackson, who played George Washington in the original cast, is also on Bull, that show with the guy from NCIS, and he was in In the Heights. He played Benny in the original cast so he's done a lot with Lynn and some stuff without Lynn. Lynn's not with Bull but he sings on one of the songs too and I just started freaking out and I was just in awe of how good it all was and just yeah Fantastic Beast was also amazing it was just really good and I was just sitting there just like <laughs> and they would make like my mom and sister saw it with me but they don't know anything about Harry Potter my mom read the first book but she doesn't know a lot about Harry Potter so she like did it she kind of got some of the jokes like she when they mentioned Dumbledore she like recognize the name but didn't put it together and they had lots of questions they're like how did that ha how is this what and I was so I answered a lot of questions for them moving on to the rest of the books um the next one two three four seven books first I'll just show you I bought binge at work one day because uh, we had a sale on books and uh, movies and music uh, but I already had most of the other books over there and I didn't have a lot of cash with me at the time so I just bought binge because the paperback version came out and it was on sale so I was like uh yes 
and yay got a binge by Tyler Oakley and then the rest of these books I got from Barnes and Noble with part of it with my gift card part of it not with my gift card because I went a little overboard and don't judge me moving continue um, I got Hannah Hart's book buffering and it was on sale and I'm so excited to read this I love Hannah Hart I just adore her and I want to read this so bad and singer do not knock over my camera we cannot start 2017 with you knocking over my camera I also got Wandering Star by Romina Russell which is the sequel to Zodiac by Romina Russell and so I was just like uh, why not I'll pick that up I'll read it eventually then I also got the first set of the Dorothy Must Die stories these are the, these are the first ones and I'm super excited to read these I loved the Dorothy Must Die books and yeah there's another set of novellas and it's Dorothy Must Die stories too so I want to get that one as well at some point but they just had this one when I was there another book that I got that I didn't even know existed I didn't know this book was happening I knew nothing about it I just saw it and I was like huh huh there's another book in the hundred series I thought it was a trilogy I thought it was done it's not done so every time I've called it a trilogy has been a lie because this is the fourth one the hundred rebellion and I would just like to point out that I hate that they don't have book covers for these they just have the TV show covers but I hate it because he is not in the books neither was he she's not all that important in the books, so I'm just like huh huh I wish that they had some original instead of just using pics from the show but whatever I didn't know this existed but it does and I'm excited for it um, I did put this series on my list of series that just kept getting worse so I don't have super high hopes I think it'll be okay but it sounds like there's gonna be some tension between Clark and Bellamy um, and like opposing viewpoints it sounds like glass is just gonna keep getting annoying and I don't know about Wells Singer page what do not eat a light bulb she was just nibbling on a light bulb do not no that is bad for you you have sleep in your eye that is bad for you babe okay you're gonna knock everything over so sit down and then the last things that I got for book wise for Christmas was the shatter me trilogy in a box set with shatter me unravel me and ignite me all by Tahere Mafi I don't know how to say name I'm so sorry I'm so I should have looked that up but it is they are gorgeous I'm not gonna pull them out just because it was really hard getting them back in here after I did pull them out I might just because I think that this one is the prettiest ah, I'm super excited to read these I've heard really good things about them and I've heard a lot of people say very I've watched a few reviews and it's made me excited and I think I'm gonna enjoy it so those are all the books that I got for Christmas slash in December. Is that, that is, right? I'm like having to double check to make sure. Right? Oh, I got this at the beginning a while ago, so I f didn't even think to mention it. I got the Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. It came out and I ordered it. Um, I think I, I know I didn't pre-order it, but I got it. And it exists. Notice where it is on the shelf. Um, I did I read it already I read it on New Year's that's what I did on New Year I tweaked my back um, a couple days ago so New Year's Eve and New Year's pretty much just consisted of me being curled up in a ball because I couldn't do straight very well um, I'm getting a little it's getting better it still hurts but getting better so I couldn't do straight super well so I was curled over and that's the perfect position for a book so I read all of this um, it won't be on my December wrap-up on Friday because I read it in January um, but I did read this. Fun fact, I already read two books this year, this month. So yeah, oh, I just, the shelf, this section just doesn't feel complete if it's not there. Yes, how gorgeous, how gorgeous. Another little update in my life, I have decided that I am going to go on Amazon and buy a copy of City of Bones that matches the oh sun that matches the rest of them I need to continue on so today is Wednesday so I'm doing a top five Wednesday I promise it's happening now that I've gotten through that and the topic was 2017 goals so goals for the year 
And um, I don't know if I have five, but I'm kind of just going to talk about goals and see what happens. So, yeah. First goal that I want to talk about is my reading goal for the year on Goodreads. Um, I know that I met my goal from 2016, but I never actually, I don't know how to access and be like, how many books did I actually read in 2016 on Goodreads? So I need to figure that out. Because um, I put 50, because I think I read 40 something last year. In theory, because I put 10 books on a TBR every month, I should do this no problem. But we all know that that's not what happens. At least I know it. Um, but so I did set my Goodreads goal at 50, but if I if it's close, if it looks like that's gonna be easily met, then I'll just keep upping it. But for now it's 50. I don't think that that should be a problem. I think it should end up being more. So here is hoping, but the second half of the year I will be in college, so. Wow, wow, the second half of this year I'll be starting college. Fear, okay, moving on, not gonna have a breakdown at this exact moment I'll do that later woo it's going so well guys my second goal for 2017 is to write the first draft of my novel that I am wanting to write and I'm not gonna talk about this a lot today because Meg talks a uh, Meg over at Meg talks life I can make words happen um, she's doing manuscript Mondays as a way to like check in and, and make keep herself like checked and make sure that she's meeting her goals and doing what she should be and just checking in with her story and all that and she said like she wanted other people to like she wanted to like create a little community of people who did manuscript Mondays so I was like of course that sounds super fun I already post videos on Mondays so now my Monday videos will be manuscript Mondays the first one will be coming next Monday and my goal for daily writing is a minimum of a thousand words a day because this is also my senior project, which means it's due in May. So, yeah, these are kind of like by graduation goals. That's what I should call them. Not, these are like the first half of 2016 goals. So, by graduation, I will have to have written the first draft of my novel. By the end of, by the time I graduate, I should have read 50 books because that's more than, how many months is away is that? January, February, March, April, May, June. Ha! Huh? I'm kind of freaking out, guys. I want to graduate so bad. Um, what are other goals that I have? I got my first like two main ones out of the way. I should have thought this through more thoroughly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I not it became what it became. Yep. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and please give it a thumbs up. Comment some stuff down below. What are your goals for 2017? I would love to know in the comments. Or if you are a part of Top 5 Wednesday and you did this video, then please let me know so that I can check it out and I post videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I have nothing else to say I will see you guys on Friday have a good couple of days read a good book Mwah.